I welcome every one of you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, observers, and those friends of Biafrans all over the world. Today, the flag of Biafra is rising from Africa to Asia, from Asia to the Western world, to the America, to other parts of the world. As the flag of Biafra is rising very speedily, we want to inform those who care to know that the fight, the liberation and the struggle between Biafra and Nigeria is the struggle of the good and the bad. For those who do not understand, our fight for the liberation of Biafra is a fight for survival, just like in the history of America. For those of you who do not understand that America, after the Declaration of Independence in 1776, after over 100 years, there was civil war called American Civil War. The war was the war between the good and the bad. And always the good will prevail. Just like the good of Biafra will prevail over Nigeria. I would like to share a small history of the American Civil War, which lasted from the 12th of April 1861 to May 26, 1865. It was a brutal civil war between those who wanted to end the slavery and those who wanted to continue the slave trade. It is always good versus bad. At the end, those who wanted to end the slave trade won and America become what it is today. Many of you don't know this. But you see, today, what we are fighting for is the state of Biafra, which is going to be free of terrorism against the Nigeria terrorist state, which sponsors terrorism, killing of women and children. That's exactly what we are trying to end. By emergence of Biafra, it will end terrorism, end ethnic cleansing, end insecurity, bring stability and peace. So there is no way we are not going to win this war. It does not matter how long it takes. It does not matter how, how many lives will be lost along the line. At the end, those who survive, what is going to happen from 2nd of December will live and their generation will enjoy freedom. Many people do not understand what led to American Civil War or many don't even, don't even remember, don't even know that America actually fought a civil war. And that was the beginning of what they call the Confederate. So many people would not understand when they hear KKK, Confederate, Confederate. It was as a result of those who wanted to continue the slave trade. And that actually divided America into North and South. That led to civil war. The disagreement amongst states about the future of slavery were the main cause of the disunion and the war. The slavery had been controversial during the framing of the Constitution of America in 1787. That war shaped America to become what it is today. If you want peace, prepare for war because the evil ones can never allow you to have peace without fight. They could not resolve the issue of slavery when very same mind understand that slavery need to end. Those who believe that their minds are corrupt and they are evil said no, slavery must continue. And that led to the American Civil War. The same thing we are fighting today. Biafra are saying we are not going to be part of a country that support terrorism, support the killing of women and children, support the attack against Israel. We can never be part of a country that support attack against Israel. Biafra will continue to support Israel irrespective of what Israel have done to defend itself. At the end, the good will prevail. I want everybody to understand today that the coming sit at home will be a lightmost test. Do not allow yourself to die as a result of your negligence and stupidity. In order for Nigeria to use you, Nigeria the bad egg and the evil ones to use you as a propaganda against Amonekpa and Biafra Republic government in Ezai and Biafra de facto government in the homeland. For those who do not understand what we are doing, they say they have not seen a roadmap. I think that roadmap issue has been resolved many months ago. Our roadmap is this. Our roadmap is that the Biafra flag have risen in over 60 countries of the world where Biafra has opened the Biafra Lazen offices that will later become Biafra Mission. After the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra, Biafra delegate in Finland will vote to adopt a new name for the Lazen offices. Presumably, the name will become Biafra Mission. The Biafra Mission, upon recognition of the Biafra government and the United States of Biafra, will become Biafra Embassy. 
it is stage by stage. So I want those asking questions who do not understand how freedom is being fought to listen very attentively. We are going to be moving like a rocket going to the moon. The rocket will move and it will continue to dispatch particles by particles until it gets to the moon. We have started with the Biafra Liaison Office. This Biafra Liaison Office, after December 2nd, will become Biafra Mission. We don't know how many years or how many months it will take for the recognition of Biafra. And thereafter, it will become the Biafra Embassy. That is the three stage of the Lazen Office, the mission, and the Embassy of Biafra. The stage of the government, one, is the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, which has demonstrated its capacity to controlling the Biafra territory from exile. From there, the Biafra Republic Government in Exile have constituted the Biafra de facto government. The Biafra de facto government has 40 United States of Biafra. In each state, there are 15 counties. In each county, there is five districts, meaning in each state, there are 75 districts. Every district have a head, every county have the chairman, deputy, secretary, and so on and so forth. The same thing is applicable to the district head, deputy district head, secretary, and so on and so forth. It is a foundation. The process, the roadmap for those asking the roadmap. We have been able to define the map of Biafra and irrespective of the divide and rule tactics of the Nigeria state for many years, we have been able to lay this foundation. Very strong foundation that Nigeria will never ever break. In addition to this, immediately after the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra, we will start laying the foundation which already have been laid, which is a process for a transitional government. As soon as the recognition of Biafra government starts happening up to the level of the United Nations or its allies, we will then begin the process of the transitional government of Biafra. We will begin the process of forming political parties, making sure that we restore true democracy in Biafra land. My fellow Biafrans, today we have been able to stand against terrorism in our land, against onslaught of the Nigeria state, against barbarism of the Nigeria state by forming our own Biafra Liberation Army, Biafra Defense Forces, Navy, Air Force, even though we do not have ship, even though we do not have the aircraft, fighter jet, the foundation has been laid. The police, state police of the Biafra, the facto government, is on the way. Our aim and objective is to make sure that the entire Biafra land is sealed and secured. That is the reason you are not hearing terrorist attack like the attack other part of Nigeria. We have succeeded in safeguarding our land. But wait a minute. Who are those going around burning our homes, our villages? and communities. They are the Nigeria Army, terrorist army, and other security terrorist agents within the Nigeria territory. Today, nobody is talking about it. Some people will tell you, Simon Ekpa is the one that is drawing the Nigeria terrorist army to be for land. And many of you believe it. Many of you believe it was Simon Ekpa that is bringing in security. Ask them, what gave birth to Simon Ekpa actions and activities in Biafra struggle. Was it not the insecurity that the Nigeria government has brought to Biafra people? They tell you Simon Ekpa was the one who unveiled Biafra Liberation Army and are drawing the Nigeria army to Biafra land. Ask them, was Simon Ekpa part of the struggle when the Python 1, Python 2, Python 3, and then Weke was dancing and killing our young men and young women? Simon Ekpa was not part of the Biafra then. Then, why are they now calling Simon Ekpa? as the person bringing the security in the Southeast. I want you to understand that there is no name that calls Simon Epa today or you who believe in your liberation and freedom that should make you move an inch. The more they call your name and Simon Epa, the more reason you must rise up to support Simon Epa and the Biafra government in exile because it means that there is something we are doing that others have not done in the past. While others were Fighting for Biafra freedom since 1999, many reside abroad, including our leader Mazin Andekano, who was residing in the United Kingdom. There has never been any time in the history of his struggle that the Nigeria state summoned the ambassador of the United Kingdom in Nigeria. There has never been any time they publicly published that they have summoned the ambassador, written petition to the United Kingdom, calling the United Kingdom to come and arrest him calling for the repatriation of Mazin and Dekano that has never been since the start of the IPOB. But now, you see, every media in Nigeria 
every illegitimate governor, every criminals, whenever opportunity is given to them to talk, they will call for the repatriation of Simon Ekwe. But since 1999 to 2012-13, when IPOB was formed, till the arrest of Mazin Amdekan in 2015, till the kidnapping of Mazin Amdekan in 2021, there has never been anywhere, any day, Biafra was discussed on the floor of the National Assembly. Our resolve, our resoluteness has made the issue of Biafra to become a topic at the National Assembly of Nigeria. It has never happened since after the war. The roadmap today, the activities of the Biafra Republic government in exile has pushed the illegitimate representative of Nigeria all over Nigeria state to be calling for restructuring. It has never happened in the past until now that the Biafra government in exile has come to take full responsibility and full charge for the liberation of Biafra. Today, they are discussing this constitution that according to them, according to some people, was a military decree. The same restructuring that led to Biafra war to the death of over 5 million Biafrans. Today they are discussing it. And we have made it very clear. The time for discussion over anything restructuring is over. I had a meeting with one of the most renounced policymaker from the United States. He was offering the possibility of restructuring. I rejected it. I said, the time for possible restructuring is over. What we are looking for now is a complete freedom where our people can exercise their right. We have to bring a true democracy in one country in Africa. Today, there is no Africa country that is practicing a true democracy. Biafra will be the first country in Africa and other people will emulate Biafra at the end of the day. So we are not going to overlook the problem and the threat to our life when we talk about restructuring. Now what Biafra and myself stand for today is a complete freedom. Of course, after giving my reasons, which is very grounded in our predicament today, he agreed. The road is going to be tough. I said we are not saying that the road is not going to be tough. But our stand must be made very clear. To anybody who cares to listen, those who want to use Takia that the Fulani have used to kill and invade land and grab and conquer, we can never succumb and fall for it. We are not going to be in any table with anybody discussing restructuring of Nigeria. Nigeria can never restructure. You cannot restructure a faulty foundation. You can't build in a foundation that is broken. You can't build in a foundation where there is no concrete foundation to it. Nigeria remained a country that was built on lies, propaganda, and can never stand the test of time. And here is the test of time. The Afra government in exile and the de facto government in the homeland has given Nigeria a test and they are not standing it. Those of you in Biafra land that are making videos when the Nigeria military, terrorist military comes to kill our people, make sure you make video and explain the content of the video in English. The understanding of the world. Not when you make video, you start speaking Igbo. Nobody understand you. Make video and explain even in broken English so that people can understand what you are talking about. We need those videos. If you can, but if you cannot, make sure you stay safe. Our fight is a fight to finish. I want to make it very clear that the fight we are fighting now is a fight to finish. And as time goes on, it will become very dangerous. Please stand very strong. We have defeated them. Are you not seeing it? Those of you in the affected area and communities, are you not seeing it? Do not be scared. Stay very strong. And I thank you, Bia France, because the more they attack me, blackmail me, the more you understand that Samanepa remain the good guy. Why they have not protected other people in other Nigeria, they are more concerned about Biafra that have not witnessed any Fulani onslaught. Are you not surprised? Why others are being slaughtered in Jos, Zamfara, in Niger State, Adamawa, and so on and so forth? The armored tanks are in Biafra land, looking for where nobody has actually witnessed Fulani onslaught since 2022, that the Biafra government and other pilot took over the affair of the Biafra struggle. I have read why some people are shouting, oh, uh, when ESN was there, they were only protecting uh, the villages, the bushes and all that. They did not attack Nigeria army. And now, the Afro Liberation Army is attacking Nigeria army and for that reason, they are invading our land. Look at those idiots. Ask them, when the ESN was there, were there not armored tanks running our villages, burning our villages, where Abakaere was leading them to kill the commanders of the ESN? You know these idiots, they have no brain. 
Was Simon Ekpa part of what was happening then? The answer is no. How many commanders of the Eastern Security Network was killed before I took over the Biafra struggle? Many, many of them were killed. Their body displayed on social media. A mockery of the highest order. And we have come to restore the dignity of Biafra people. Since you took over the government and this administration, have you seen where they are displaying the body of any commander? The answer is no. Even when they go and capture innocent people, I showed them. It doesn't move anybody. It doesn't sell. But before, every blessed day, we saw Abakaire and his group running over our villages. This idiot and criminals has forgotten that just a few years ago, they go invent our villages, burn it down, kill commanders of the ESN. They drag their body on the street. They brag about it. They show it on social media. But today, it is not happening. We are not saying that we're not going to lose people. We're going to lose soldiers. But the fact is that if we lose one, Nigeria is losing 100. If we lose two, Nigeria is losing 150. If we lose three, Nigeria is losing 300. That is what is going on. And it will continue to be like that. You don't fight in a war like this and expect not to lose soldiers. You're going to lose soldiers. Like Mazen Amdekano, who understood the fight very well, he said, they will kill us. We will kill them. But at the end, Biafra will come. That's exactly what is going on. But our job as a government is to provide equipment, material, weapons that our army are going to use so they will not die like chicken. But look at Our land is with us. Why they come, they die. I want everybody to understand that the coming sit at home will be like never before. All that one work you think you are going to be used by the Nigeria state to blackmail Biafra, you are joking. They will kill you. We will still move on. Stay in your homes so you will not fall a victim of the Nigeria terrorist state. Stay in your homes so that you will not be used as a tool for propaganda. Stay in your homes so you will live to see Biafra. Stay in your home so that your children, your siblings, and your families will be happy that you are still alive. Do not go, if you are serving Nigeria within Biafra territory, do not go to Secretariat because they are going to station their killer squad there to kill you, to blame it on someone else. No amount of propaganda and threat will make us back down on this is at home. This is at home will be very, very effective in Biafra land and we will show the world and the illegitimate representative of Nigeria within Biafra land that will have delegitimized them. Legitimization is what we are going to prove in the coming seat at home. Do not say we didn't warn you. Do not say we did not inform you. This is not the first time it is happening. It has happened in the past. They will only use you and use your body to do propaganda. And at the end of the day, nothing will happen. Sit at home, especially on the Friday, which is the 2nd of August. Our place is only Christians, traditional and Jewish. That Friday, the last day, will mark the beginning of the cleansing of our land.